Nicole Hunter here. Today I'm going to be showing you this car. It is a 2007 Honda Element. Let's go check it out. This is a 2007 Honda Element. It's got 204,000 miles. And this is an excellent vehicle. Not a lot of people have these anymore, but they're quite the cult car. Let me just show you how these doors open. It's quite an interesting setup. This door opens really far out as you can see and then this one is like a suicide door and it opens to the back like this. You can get a lot of stuff in here. One of the great things about this car, the amount of room that you have in here, it's like a big square. On the inside, it's very basic looking. It looks very much like an Econo box. But these hold up extremely well in their resale because they're very sought after cars for their utility purpose. The door is, you know, it's uh, very basic. Only the two front windows open. There's a way to open the rear, but it's only just uh, a little bit of a latch. You have just kind of cheap plastic everywhere. And it's kind of funny that this car has got such a high resale value because the parts that they use are very, very cheap. There's no leather, there's nothing. There's um, only hard plastic throughout. You can adjust the mirrors. It's like power mirrors and power windows. And you also have a button to lock the driver's side passenger uh, window. And you have power locks. It's a very nice thing and the power lock and unlock is right here next to the door hand. I do like this vent that Honda made. You can close it here but you also have a lot of flexibility on where to adjust the airflow. And this has got air conditioning and the air conditioning works extremely well. It is extremely easy to get in it. I think that's one of the reasons people like this car as well is the it's a, it's a car that hipsters like because you can put bicycles here, surfboards, you can even fit, fit motorcycles back here. It's very difficult to believe, but a friend of mine has a Honda Element and he put a zero electric motorcycle in the back. And yes, an electric motorcycle does belong to like a hipster type and he has an Element as well. Senior citizens really love this car because it's so roomy inside. Look at this, look at the headspace. This is quite a bit of headspace. When you're driving this car, it drives extremely well. The engine and transmission is really good. The downside of this particular vehicle is that it's leaking some water on the inside. And I believe it's from the windshield because there's a little bit of wet spots here. And it's been raining a lot in the DC metro area. So it's getting wet here, which is in a way it's okay. If it was a regular car and it had carpet, it would be, you'd have to rip up the carpet, but this is just basically rubber. The seating position is really, really comfortable. And you have some adjustability here, the lumbar support. The steering wheel moves up and down. You also have a lot of compartments here for putting like your phones and coins. This is a, a great feature to have, especially right up front. So people will tend to put their phones right over here. Also have a way to store various papers here. You can't put things that would fall out. Rear passenger door, you can see it has a speaker and the same sort of pocket door. So you can put stuff along with a little bit of space over here to store things. You have three slots that you can put uh, things to organize yourself a little bit better. Then you have a glove box at the bottom. It's a very easy process to open the back door, but it is kind of an interesting thing because if you have passengers in the rear of the vehicle, you cannot just open this door. You have to open this door and then open this one. The back door, this opens up and it's kind of nice because you can open in two different ways. Then you have a button right here and you can open it down. And this kind of comes down. So as you can see, look at the amount of space that you have inside there. This is a, quite, a comfortable, quite a comfortable car. It's a, it's a really good car for people who have, you know, kids and like have active lifestyles. You can fit like your bicycle here, canoes, boats, like it's, it's got so much off the market. So one of the things that people really like about this car is that it's so great for cross-country trips. 
It gets about 24 miles to the gallon, which is not very good for a cross-country trip. But the good thing about this car is you can do um, car camping. The seat falls down, and this seat falls down into a bed, so two people can actually sleep here. And I recently finished a cross-country trip, and I did not have this car. I just had a regular Honda Civic. I wish I had this car because I could completely sit, lay down on this uh, car and have a good nap. A lot of people that I've seen that car camp, actually, they remove the seats, the rear seats, and they put a full-size mattress back here. And there's like all sorts of ways you can configure this if you want to build a little tiny house to go on road trips. This car makes a great car for road trip. If you have this, this is quite a luxury. I slept in the car on this cross-country trip that I just did, and this is much, much better. Right here, you have this, which is very nice because if you're dragging in a motorcycle, you want the wheel to go over this and not get stuck in this position. This slot here, where you have your spare tire. See, there are some of the D-rings here to tie your cargo. You just push this cable up. Voila. It's on the element. It's been discontinued by, by Honda, but it's a really good car and extremely reliable. People, I think, are starting to realize how good it actually was because now there seems to be like a rekindling of uh, hype about this car because you can do so many things. All the outdoorsy people are clamoring to get these cars. These cars on the west coast sell for a whole lot more money than the cars on the east coast. So that's just something to remember. Here on the east coast in Washington DC, these cars can sell for like $4,000 to $5,000. Even high mileage elements like this will sell for about $4,000. The style and the utility of it. The one thing I don't like is the gas mileage. You would think a car like this, so cute, would be getting like over 20 something miles to the gallon, but it really doesn't. This car also has a hitch and the wiring for attaching your, your trailer. All right, let's go for a little bit of a drive. Getting into this car is extremely easy. And one thing I've noticed is like when you shut this door because of the clamshell design or whatever, or the suicide door, it is feels like it's open. This has got air conditioning. So let's turn that on because it's extremely hot here in the Washington DC area. When you look at the gauges, you can tell it's got 204,000 miles. The speedo and the tack don't work too well. If I rev it up, you see the tack is working, but sometimes it decides to just stay at zero. We're in drive and we're off. As you can see, the, the steering wheel is nice and straight. It's very simple to drive. You have a lot of room in here. And it's also a, a very large car when you think about it. It's, it's an SUV. So it does make a little bit of noise, but it's just something that people just have to get used to it. A very good visibility as well in this car. Also, I have an off-the-market radio unit, which I think if I was to keep a car like this, I would replace it with a radio slash GPS unit. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the Honda Element review. I'll see you next time.